Hi everybody, I'm Armin and I'm back with Ken. So, um, so Ken, as a producer, there's, a, there's often times where clients will come to you and say, you know, I want a, I want a project that has A, B, and C in it. How do you as a producer uh, like backward engineer a script and make it fit like to their needs? Well, the, the, the whole concept of reverse engineering is, is sort of, you know, to me, that's kind of the secret of, um, of, of, the, of the little uh, uh, section of the business that I work in, you know, because it really, uh, on some level, you are starting almost with uh, just a, a concept, a poster idea, a title. You're starting with something that, that, that is sellable, and then you're going to reverse engineer out of that creatively to come up with uh, what is hopefully going to be a terrific script. Um, I listen, uh, to me that's the beginning of the creative process. Hmm. So uh, a client comes to me and says, uh, I'm interested in A, B, and C. Uh, um, okay, great. Uh, let, me, uh, let me sit down with, with a writer and let's, uh, let's, let's come up with something uh, interesting that incorporates all of those things you want. Uh, and, and oftentimes it's really a concept. Um, uh, and uh, and then we uh, uh, you know then we we enter into the development process, which is that's that's really the hard work. Hmm. Uh, that's the real hard work for me of making any film is making that script work. Uh, but the best concepts uh, are usually the ones that are the simplest. The simpler, the better. Um, I, I uh, you know, you come to me with a concept. If the concept is teenage girls rob a bank great concept. I like a concept that has the fewest number of words in it. The pitch, the fewest number of words, those are my mm -hmm. favorite. See, teenage girl robs a bank. That's four words. <laughs> and I've got, a, I've got a pitch, I've got a story, I've got the whole movie right there. And guess what? You can, you can repeat that pitch that simply to everybody on, on down the line as you're selling the movie. I've got a movie about teenage girls who rob a bank. Simple, sold, done. You know, <laughs> so so uh, usually the best concepts that would come to me would be s something like that, or sometimes right. I come up with those concepts, you know, and convince, you know, the, the, the client, to, you know, to, to go with my concept, you know, it goes both ways. So, um, so reverse engineering is just starting with that simple thing, that easily, easily visualized story, and then coming up with the, the screenplay, and that's, that's where the real hard work takes place. So, um so as a producer, you obviously have to work, you know, almost hand in hand with your director or whoever the director is. Mm -hmm. um, how do you um, how do you manage a director that uh, that let's say you only have like four days to shoot this and you just <laughs> need it to be shot and like ready to go, but he he or she wants to be more artistic with it and you know spend like, like do all um, spend a lot more time than you need to. How, how do you as a as a producer manage them to get them what they want, but also uh, keep with your schedule and and within the budget and all that? Well, first of all. Uh, I want a director who is going to say, I want this movie to be, you know, great. I right. want this movie to be artistic. I want to do something uh, fun and original with it. And so part of my job as a producer is to help that director do that. So whether it's uh, putting together a schedule that gives him the time to do it or her the time to do it, uh, or it's... Um, uh, bringing the toys to the set that the director needs to, to get those great shots that, that he or she wants to get. Whatever that thing is, uh, I, I listen to the director. I, I want to hear what their vision is. I want them to, you know, aim for the stars, so to speak. Uh, and then, you know, listen, at a certain point, I have to say, here's what we can afford. Right. Here, here's how much time we have. Uh, you know, now, given that reality, uh, you tell me how much of that stuff can we really get into that budget and that time frame, and uh, and we figure it out together. But uh, uh, that's you know I, I think about I mean, all the talented people that that show up on the set in front of and behind the camera. Uh, I want them to be thinking like that and to want to push the envelope and do do something terrific and do something uh, you know. Uh, that goes beyond anything that I could have ever uh, imagined. It's going to make a better movie. Right. Okay, Ken. Thank you for sitting down with me. That was um, that was very informative, and um, I look forward to talking to you soon.